How's it going everybody? Cable Guy Ken Kun to you live once again from the front yard doing a boat top review for you. What's going on now? You know, every once in a while in the bushcraft community, somebody meets somebody that knows somebody that does something that that person needed. Uh, what I'm talking about, of course, is Rob at the canteen shop. Everybody knows him. He's a super great, down-to-earth guy. Loves taking care of his, his customers and his friends, his fans. Uh, I think you could call us fans, you know. He puts on a great show, y'all. He, he does. He's got some amazing gear, great prices, and he's just such a super nice person that you love buying stuff from him. Uh, I probably, I'd be willing to bet there's not one person watching this video that's ordered something from Rob that hadn't got a little something extra thrown in sometimes. Especially if you're a, a repeat customer, just every now and then Rob will say, you know what, throw this in here, you know, send this to this guy. And uh, that's just the kind of person he is. I mean, of course, he's here to make money. It's, it's his business. It's his only job, you know, the canteen shop. But he loves taking care of his, his, his family, his fans, and his friends. So with that being said, got a review here for you for a knife that has been long in the works between Bob, uh, Rob and Blind Horse Knife Company. Uh, Rob has been working on this knife in his head for at least a year, I'd say. And uh, I gotta say, good things come to those that wait because he has come up with a fantastic knife. Um, it's reminiscent of the, the the Bush knife that they sell, the Bush Crafter or the Bush Baby, either one, they're the same basic design. Um, a little bit reminiscent of the Falk Niven that he sells on his website. Even a little bit of the Ray Moore's uh, Wood Lore, I think it is, or Bush Lore knife. Um, now, I have used this one, but I, I stropped it back up to new again as far as the edge goes. And I'll show you that a close up. It does shave again. It was extremely shaving sharp when it came to me from Rob. The basic knife itself is $150, but as you see it pictured here, it's $175. And that gets you the adjustable lanyard that I'll point out more on in a minute, and a leather stacked handle fire steel that throws sparks like a flamethrower. I used this to start a bonfire a couple of weeks ago at a church function we were having, and it just blew my mind the way it was throwing sparks. Um, nice hand-sewn custom leather sheath, typical of the kind of stuff you find from Blind Horse Knives, as well as the quality. Of course, it's the micarta handles, fisheye bolts, and I'll let the camera zoom on that and make sure it focuses, but it's got the black liners on it. It is a four inch blade, and I want to say four and an eighth or four and a quarter inch handle. But as you can see, as big as my hands are, the handle does fill the hand well. It's good and grippy. I don't have to worry about the blade torquing a lot. Um, it's not a large knife. It's got some compound on it where I stropped it back to an edge. But that's all, y'all. Just a little bit of dirt from me. See, it's got the Canteen Shop logo here. Blind Horse logo here. The zero underneath indicates that it is an 01 tool steel. I've got some marks from the ferro rod here. Comfortable, comfortable handle. Beautiful taper coming along the sides of it. That polished micarta feels really good in the hand, but it's not slippery. It gets, you know, good grip. And as far as usability goes, I don't know what kind of wood this is. Definitely good hard wood, but you can get in here and take little paper shavings off with no worries. Come in here and make your feather sticks if you want to. And you all notice every video I've ever done, if you see me talking about feather sticks, you notice that this is the way I do it. This is just, for me, it's less fatigue than picking the knife up and doing all these long curls like this. Even though I know, you know, people say, oh, use your, your back and, you know, lean into it, you do better. But I don't find that I really need to do the long curls like that. I find that just doing like that with my thumb, it doesn't take no time at all to whittle on through something. And I can make curls and paper shavings all day long and they work just fine for me. Um, of course, if you were making, you know, traps and stuff like that, you get in there and do your, your stop cut. Like so it works really, really, really awesome. 
see how quick that was and if you need to take big chunks of wood out you see that's no problem and this isn't a, a super hard wood it's a soft wood it's probably a big yucca spindle just judging by the, the outside of it and the way it is in there it's probably a big piece of yucca that I was making spindles out of but that piece wasn't straight enough to make a spindle for my my liking um, if you've got something a little harder that's a good piece of oak you can see it still digs into it the little lanyard thing I don't I like the lanyard but I don't like lanyards on my knife like that but I'll show you why I like the lanyard and what I'm going to use it for. But you can see that does awesome. The lanyard on it, of course, is made by the pair of cord guy. And it is an adjustable lanyard. It's got a piece here that slides up and down. You can tighten it up against the knife. Then you can open this up big enough to get your hand through it. And a couple of things I like about it is you're in here working maybe you're, you're skinning an animal what have you you can let go of the knife and then with just a flip of your hand you can get it right back up there where you're at so you're working away you know you you make your center cut on the animal maybe you make your little notch you come up under it open the animal up you can let go of the knife get in here and pull that that hide away pull the fur out the way and you can pop the knife right back up you don't have to worry about setting the knife down but what I plan on doing with it is I plan on taking it off and I'll show you why. Now if a machete or something like that I think it'd be phenomenal because it really locks onto your wrist but you've got this nice big leather sheath you can take this run this through that sheath like so lock that down on there and then with this big open end you've got here you can run it I'm not wearing a, a belt today but you can run this through your belt pass the sheath through it and cinch it down like so and now you can tuck that down inside your pocket just like that it's not going anywhere I can still sheath the knife there's my, my sheath I can pop it right in there I don't have to worry about it going anywhere I've still got plenty of room in my pocket I mean I can get my whole hand well in these pants anyway get my whole hand in there but it's right there easy to access I can pull it out of the pocket do what I need to do with the knife, put it back, what have you. And this is probably the way I'll wear it when I'm out in the woods. I've already got something else on my belt. So I'm probably going to leave it like this and try it out for a while just to see how I like it. But that's just an option. Of course, if I had a belt on, I'd tie it off right here over the pocket so it lies in a straight line. But that's just an option, just something I thought of. You know me. I've always got little weird ideas get this undone here real quick the craftsmanship on this thing blows me away everybody that's seen it's just fell in love with the, the overall design of it and all and the fact that you get everything you need for it, the fire steel and everything for $175 really is a great deal especially when you're talking about the quality and the craftsmanship of a blind horse knife but Here's the kicker. I mean, look at that. Let's see if I can hit the camera. No, not quite. But this thing just throws a shower of sparks, and you don't have to use a lot of force. I mean, like any every knife I've ever owned for blind horse will throw sparks, but the the ferro rod that came with this, I mean, that's usually how I do mine. It's just a quick little flip and it's just phenomenal phenomenal at throwing sparks and starting a fire 
Of course, leather stack, it matches the sheet, so it just looks good together. Um, I don't know about wear yet as far as, you know, whether or not as the fire still wears down, it's going to be slippery and it's going to fall out of there, but right now the retention on it is really well. So I don't think there will be any issues with that. It's good and snug, but if there is, there's always a way to fix that. So, Y'all, check them out. Everybody on here probably knows Rob, has seen them before. Give them a shout. Pick one of these up. I said again, it is a blind horse knife, so you're buying a blind horse company uh, knife, and everybody knows about their quality. But it is a Rob Simpson designed knife for blind horse, and he's such a super great guy that that was his intent from the get go not to design a knife, but to design a knife with an American company, people that are local to him, fellow Ohioans, and uh, you know keep keep some of that money going in the American pockets and helping out some local businesses just like himself. I mean, that's just that goes to show you the type of character he's got. He could have gone to some overseas company and said, Hey, make me this knife really cheap so I can sell it for a lot of money and make a you know ton of profit off of it. <clears throat> but he didn't. You know, he, he he designed a knife with a local company sells it at a reasonable price so that he turns a little bit of profit, but more than anything, he puts a really valuable piece of equipment in your hands that even though it's not so beautiful you don't want to use it all the time, it's beautiful enough that you won't mind handing this down to your children generations from now. So, check them out y'all. Blind Horse Knives, The Woodcrafter, Robert Simpson at canteenshop.com. Appreciate your views, your support, your comments. Leave me a note. Let me know what you need to see in future videos or anything I need to change or add. We'll make it happen, y'all. Kevin Guy Ken, peace out.